But the pandemic proved to everyone in Alberta just how vital the commercial carrier industry is to meeting all of our needs. Whether we're buying food, medicine, or other essential goods, this industry is a key driver of our economy. And it is estimated that by 2023, there will be a shortage of approximately 3,600 commercial drivers in Alberta. That's why Alberta's government is working to reduce labor shortages in the commercial carrier industry by providing $30 million in grants over three years for commercial driver training. Building on the success of the Driving Back to Work grant program, the grants will reduce barriers to commercial driver training and address other training challenges. Up to 600 unemployed Albertans are expected to be supported annually through the Driving Back to Work grant program over the next three years. This grant makes it more affordable to take the training and testing, like mandatory entry-level training, or MELT, required to earn a Class 1 commercial driver's license. Funding will also be directed to supporting women returning to the workforce and underemployed Albertans to obtain a Class 1 driver's license. The province will also invest in training technology using online or virtual reality simulator training to reduce melt training costs. All told, all told, our government is investing $30 million over the next three years. No, when we look at how the driver shortage, how we got here and how we're addressing it, it really comes down to the fact that we have more people exiting the industry than entering. And the, the, the large need for a career pathway into industry needs to be clear and it needs to be, longevity has to be there for it. When we see there's not credentials that follow you as a driver, it makes it a challenge to come in the industry. With this announcement today, to start to develop and solidify those pathways is critical into inviting people into an industry that most folks maybe didn't consider.